Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from VitalCoaching.com. We are talking about vital sex and tantric sex and the topic for this video is uh, seven possible obstacles to tantric sex. It's really fun to look at uh, the possible shadows and the possible obstacles that might stop you from having a great tantric sex or vital sex experience. Why? Because if you know about the traps and you know the pitfalls, it's going to make you way, way more uh, effective at generating a positive experience with your lover. So here are some of the pitfalls and some of the, the challenges that you might face. The first one is time. We have no time. <laughs> oh, man. Such a pity. We have to make time, okay? When you want to engage into tantric sex, um, it's important to have a secure time where you, you don't have to be on the phone, you don't have to be on your computer or taking care of your kids or whatever. It's like it's important to have the time and to make the time and to be committed to keeping that time. Um, you know, sometimes you might try to set up a date with somebody and uh, they tell you something like, wow, well, you know, I have time two weeks from now, uh, six to seven on Saturday. What? <laughs> it's not going to work. You know, you need to, to make time, you need to make it your top priority for this to be an effective experience. Uh, the second big challenge is privacy, especially when you like engaging into uh, vocal practices where you sound your orgasmic uh, expression all across the neighborhood. Very often neighbors are going to react and respond or if you have kids sleeping next door and you have to be really quiet or you are in a camping and uh, you have to keep it quiet again. So the fact that you not, not, cannot make sound and the fact that there is no real uh, privacy for you to engage, you know, it can be tricky. Uh, you might be traveling and end up in a dorm somewhere and uh, or be in a retreat with a shared room with somebody else. So just finding the, the privacy can be extremely challenging. A third challenge, this one is the number one challenge, the most uh, difficult one to deal with, is fights, tensions, lack of you know, synchronicity and synergy and peace in the relationship that you're engaging with. If you start engaging into fights, ah, it's gonna be uh, difficult to engage into tantric sex from a place of creating safety and security. So you're going to feel threatened, you're going to feel, you know, like walking on eggshells if your partner just attacked you over something else. So you need to find ways of communicating in harmonious and peaceful ways so that when you engage and you are in, the, in, in this uh, tantric field, you want to feel like you have a partner there, not a potential enemy. Okay? Imagine that you go to fight a battle and you, you are there in the fighting this army and uh, the guy who is supposed to be just next to you fighting, guy or the woman who is supposed to be fighting the battle next to you turns against you and starts attacking you. You know, uh, creating a tantric sex space means creating a deep, profound partnership. It doesn't mean that we have no shadows, you know, you can engage into conscious fights, into vital fights, what I call, and uh, have very conscious communication and and use friction as a as a as a trigger to uh, develop more energy but it has to be done consciously you know if you if you are with somebody who is uh, freaking out and getting really out of balance and emotionally unstable uh, frequently then you know it just creates tension and you cannot really relax when uh, it's time to open up your heart to that person it's logical of course so um, keep an eye on that uh, fights and uh, especially find techniques on how to solve them. Uh, the fourth challenge that you can face is lack of experience, lack of knowledge, lack of understanding about what happens within the tantric sex space. So this is why it's very important to gain knowledge, go to workshops, read about it, surround yourself with people who have experience in that, get some one-on-one -on -one sessions with experts. You know, it's like there's a vast field of possibilities when you want to gather knowledge and experience and uh, knowledge and experience are going to keep your path safe and uh, they are going to give you also directions intention allow you to to set up a, a tantric sex space which is uh, way more solid um, the challenge number five 
is distractions. I call that also focus gap. You know, there is a hundred reasons not to go and engage into something that you committed yourself to. For instance, you are about to, to have sex, somebody calls you, or there is an emergency in the kitchen, or, you know, God knows what, lots of possible distractions. And uh, for tantric sex to work, you need to have a certain level of commitment to the process. Otherwise, you will find ways not to go for it. It's like how many people who are listening to this video have a gym membership and never go to the gym. <laughs> Why? Because you need the motivation, you need a commitment to the process. So, you know, the possibilities of getting distracted along the way are there. Watch them, you know, and don't let these distractions send you off track. This is the most important thing, is that you have a sex, a tantric sex date at six o'clock in the evening, be there, be present, make it the top priority to be on time and to dedicate the evening to that experience without scheduling anything else for the rest of the evening. Okay? Um, challenge number six, emotional immaturity. So when you start engaging with sexual energy, it's going to hit your emotions. And if the patterns that you have there are not mature enough and you respond to situations in either childish or reactive ways, then uh, again, this is going to trigger fights. So if you are a little bit emotionally mature, you know, you have to grow up. You have to put yourself in a position where your presence is pleasant and easy for your partner. If you are, you know, reactive or, you know, too sensitive or, you know, going through extreme mood swings, it's like it's not going to create a sense of safety for uh, generating the tantric sex experience. So work on that. Master your inner game when it comes to that. Challenge number seven, it's a communication gap. Basically, you forget about giving feedback. You forget that part of the process is to vocalize things. And so you start taking distance. Eventually, you realize that your partner is no longer satisfied with what's going on and, uh, and uh, you are neither. And eventually, you fall out of the practice because you didn't check in to keep on developing the skills and stay connected. So. Communication is an essential aspect of building a wonderful tantric sex experience. So here we go. I'm going to summarize them for you. These are seven possible potential obstacles to tantric sex. So there is time, privacy, fights, knowledge gap, distractions, emotional immaturity and communication gap. Of course, there is much more than that, but here are some of them to give you a hint. Enjoy.